Hello and welcome back to Our Children Australia. Today we're looking at how you actually go about finding the right support for you and your children. And I'm not necessarily talking about you know what you're going to be putting in Google to look for that support. You would know how to Google, but looking at when you find somebody, how do you know that they're the right person for you? And so there's a few um, different criteria that I would use as a mental checklist when I'm having my initial consultation with them. First of all, before we get to that point, you need to actually know what you're looking for. So is it that you need some help or is it that your children need some help? So that's a very important distinction because sometimes we think it's our kids that need help when in actual fact it's just our parenting's gone a bit off, you know, off skew and so we need some help to bring that back into back into line with how we work. Maybe we've got so much going on emotionally that we haven't realised that you know, our boundaries are constantly changing and our kids don't know what's right or wrong. One week they're allowed to do this, the next week they're not. Um, so they get confused. So always make that distinction. Sit down and think about what it is that we actually are needing help with. Once you know who you're looking for help for, whether it's you or for them, you need to be able to have your initial consultation with the practitioner that you found. And the points that I'd be looking for would be this. One, are you comfortable? Do you feel at ease when you're having a chat to them or are you feeling judged? If you're feeling judged, chances are you're not going to be want to be open with them and honest about what's going on at home. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that should be sending off alarm bells then and there. The next point you want to do is look for whether you've got a good rapport with that practitioner. Do you feel like you can easily talk to them? Do you trust them? Are you happy to tell them the most personal details about your circumstances? If you're happy to do that, then chances are you've found the right practitioner for you. If not, if you feel like you need to you know, just polish it up a little bit to hide what's really going on, I would suggest that you need to keep looking. Finding the right practitioner is going to be a very personal choice. We all have our own nuances and we all have our own um, issues that we bring when we're, when we're talking to people. You know, we don't necessarily like to talk about um, matters that are really personal because we think people will judge us. But at the same time, if we don't open up and if we're not honest about these scenarios, then we can't really get the help that we need. So make sure you do your due diligence. Interview practitioners, don't go to the first one that you find. Make sure you, that you find the right one for you and if it's for your kids, especially make sure it's the right one for your kids because you need them to feel comfortable. Um, because if they need someone to talk to, they need to be able to have that honest and open environment but with the safety and security that surrounds that environment and they need to be comfortable in that space. I really hope that helps. For more free information and resources, please come on over to ourchildren.com.au. I will see you there.